this canvas, strip of canvas right there. Uh, Lucius, could you give me a plastic dish, a white plastic dish? Yeah, perfect, okay. And here's the deal too. When it comes to these like liquid adhesive, gesso, all this stuff is really bad for brushes, okay? So if you are, you know, if we have a really nice brush, something like this, it still looks pretty new. We like to use these for dry brushing ingredients. Don't be dipping this in a bunch of glue and stuff like that, okay? Um, so for example, when it comes to the gesso, just get some out, put it in this dish here, like that. Then you can, you know, put the spoon over here. And then you're like, yeah, where is a super crappy brush? You know, any of these with the green handle are always real crappy. Um, also, this, this like beige handle as well, okay? Um, you know, look at that. Crappy looking brush. Throw that in some gesso. Put it down on the surface. And then you can put the piece of canvas right on top of that. Okay. Now, a lot of times canvas, you know, can be primed with gesso or you could have it be the raw canvas on top and it's kind of up to you. Uh, but the, a big difference with this project and other mixed media projects is going to be that top layer. Okay. Cause if we put a top coat of gesso on everything, or we put a top coat of the wheat paste on everything, some of the paper is not gonna act the way that it's supposed to. You know, it's not gonna absorb the different art materials the way it's supposed to. Um, can you give me a cup of water real quick? Uh, thank you. So, uh, Dane's composition, he did this thing where you can kind of mix the wheat paste with a little bit of gesso, and it kind of gives you this sort of hazy, cloudy thing, which uh, you know I think is pretty nice for the first layer because it can sort of bring things together, all right? Um, but like I said, it's a little tricky with the top coats, like putting things on top of stuff. For example, watercolor paper. You wrote down watercolor is one of your strengths. You wanna put some watercolor paper on there. Uh, when it comes to the wheat paste, I would never hit a top coat of wheat paste on the watercolor paper. Watercolor is not gonna do what it's supposed to do. Also, wheat paste is expensive, okay? So this dish is straight up wheat paste. However, um, you know, I'm trying to stretch it out, make it last a little longer. So we could always put it in here, put some in here. And then in order to sort of make the most out of it, we could just dump some Elmer's in here. And add a little bit of water as well. You know, not too much, just a couple of drops like that. And then once again, if you have a crappy brush, you can just kind of stir that all around. So anyway, that's how we can, I mean, this, this is important for you all to know as well, because after high school, you got to pay for our materials yourself. This stuff is mad expensive. So like you got to kind of finesse some different ways to make your dollar go a little further. Okay, so this is still some pretty nice liquid adhesive. I'm just gonna go ahead, throw this down. Like that, go over top and really just press it down. Like that. And, uh, you know, cannot really stress enough when it comes to this stuff. 
we really want to stay on top of, you know, keeping the, the brushes sort of dipped back into the water cup. Uh, we like kind of let this sit out for too long. After 10, 15 minutes, it can get uh, pretty jacked up. Also, you know, if it's not sticking too well, what you can do is just put a lot directly on the back. This tends to happen with thicker paper. Put a lot directly on the back there and then you know, really, really load up that surface too. And that should, you know, stay on there a little bit nicer then. So I'm not, you know, I would say in general, uh, I'm going to be pretty hesitant to put top layers on anything. Okay. Um, maybe save that for next week. Once we're really planning like, Hey, I want to do this medium here, that medium there. Then you can, you know, maybe prep the service with some gesso, uh, or, you know, whatever it is that you got to do. So yeah. Like I said, only use the gesso with the canvas. You don't really need to use it for too much else. Um, but if a little bit of gesso gets mixed in there with uh, some of the liquid adhesive, you can, in some areas feeling kind of busy, you know, you could paint in there with that and kind of calms everything down, gives it sort of this like cloudy, hazy effect. Um, does anyone have any questions about anything? Hey, remember, you definitely want to be posting on the discussion, okay, it's kind of communicating with me what it is that you plan on doing. Um, and it's a, you know, get yourself some real easy points as well. You can also just simply take a glue stick and like glue stuff down with the glue stick too. Uh, a lot of collage artists use glue sticks as well. So whole combination of different things.